have you ever been thinking, you know, like history is so put on, you know, like teaching us about world wars, <laughs> about what you call this, my boy Adolf, you know what I'm saying? A lot to do his thing, but I'm, you know, I'm controlling it, but like, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, okay. that's like a joke. That's a joke. I'm not supporting the whole Holocaust stuff. But you never know what man's intentions were, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, always two sides to a story, remember that. But anyway, um, we'll be there talking about wars that happen and, you know, as, you know, like, how can I say, when countries gained independence, I haven't done history in a while, but like, I'm just looking at it like, you know, we be giving these people so much clout, you know, oh, William the who, William number what, I don't know, George the what, the first, the fourth, or whatever, you know, those owns, and you ask yourself, like, yo, what about the unsung heroes, though, yo, like, what about that guy, you know, who one day was chilling, you know, like, in the bush, and saw some, some plant, you know, and he's like, ah, bro, you scheme that can go good with Nsima, you feel me, like, you, you know, if he needs some pop and stuff, and he picks it up, and he goes to cook with it, and then he dies, you know why? Because it's poison ivy. And then, you know, maybe like three or four other niggas went and picked the same thing. And they go like, ah, guys, <laughs> that shit is not okay. Let's stop eating that. Somebody's not recorded that. Don't eat that. You know? Those ovens that will be like they are chilling. When people are like found potatoes, you know, like going for people are finding these fruits and sitting from the ground. Those first people that are going to pick up stuff, you know, like, okay, this is a potato. How do I cook it? You know, the first guy who thought, okay, let me peel this thing, put it in water. They're like, ooh, okay. Then there's another guy who peeled it and then cut it and then threw it in water. Ooh, and then there was the machine, the greatest, the goat. He huh? went there, did the things, did the things, and went, ah, guys, what about some oil in this bitch? Whoosh, fried that motherfucker up and boom, chips. Yo, huh? Why don't, why don't I, and I feel like history would be more interesting than like that. What, what if, you know, you go into class and you know, like how their world records and all that stuff, like Guinness Book of World Records. Those are, that's sort of history, you know? Like, imagine if history was entertaining like that. Like, because I remember learning history and the stuff that I knew, what exactly did it really do? It would have been better for me to be learning history about like, you know, Stuff like that, like who made fries, you know, the inventor of fries, or the first man to, to discover poison ivy, you know, those owns that like children are like, hey, bruh, you skim, we can smoke that. <laughs> you get me? Like those people that like would take berries and stuff and pound them and make wine, you know, like, maybe you know why you might talk with Chila, bruh, like. Vibes, yo. Vibes. It's a shame, you know. Because, like, I just be looking at it and I'm just thinking, like, yo. This is why school sucks, yo. It's like, you, you're basically in charge of educating the whole world, you know what I'm saying? Be, you know, various different systems. But then, in most cases, like, a majority of people are learning... The same stuff and the stuff we're being meant to, or like you know made to learn like it's only useful at like at the time but you're not teaching people real life stuff yo but anyway i digress that was enough about you know that patrick out